Hey y'all, welcome back to my kitchen or welcome if you're new. My name is Bethany or Budget Bethany and welcome to this week's What's for Dinner video. So as most of y'all know, I like to share these every single week in hopes to give y'all some meal ideas to cook at home for your family as well. This week's theme is going to be a Croctober theme, so I'm going to be sharing three super easy dinner ideas that I cooked in the crock pot this week. So to kick off this week, we're going to be sharing a comfort meal that I absolutely enjoy. It's one of my favorite crock pot meals and all you have to do is get some stew meat or stew beef, whichever one you call it. You'll need some onion powder. I usually use garlic powder as well, but I was out. I'm going to use some of that Weber Steakhouse seasoning. You'll need a packet of onion soup mix, a can of cream of chicken, some chicken broth, some Worcestershire sauce, and a packet of brown gravy. So basically, we're just going to throw all these ingredients in our crock pot it's a dump and go dinner meal so that's what we're going to be doing i'm going to throw my stew beef in there first sometimes i do like to cook those in a skillet first but on this day it was early in the morning before i went to work and i didn't have that much time so i just throw those bad boys in the crock pot I'm, like i said i'm going to throw in all my other ingredients and then just pop the lid on that and let that cook on low for five to six hours I'm sure most of you by now know that you can just measure out stuff in your cans and not have to mess up any more dishes. So that's what I'm doing right here. I'm just measuring out a can of chicken broth and I'm just going to pour that into my crock pot just to make sure that I have some liquid in there because y'all, I'm just really paranoid that if my crock pot runs out of liquid that my house might burn down. So I always make sure that I add enormous amount of liquid in there. Like I said earlier, this is a dump and go crock pot dinner meal. So put everything in the crock pot and leave. I cooked mine on low for five to six hours while I was at work. And this is what I came home to. So I had very minimal cooking to do on that night. I love cooking in the crock pot, especially being a working mama and just on the go mama. My kids are in sports. I'm always at the ball field with football and cheerleading. So this is a win-win for me whenever I can cook anything in the crock pot. So here was my beef stew. Once it was all done, I was just quickly showing that to y'all. And then I also made some mashed potatoes. It was just boxed mashed potatoes, nothing fancy, nothing extravagant. I did add some sour cream to make them look extra creamy. And then I opened up a can of green beans and I served up my plates. Here's my mashed potatoes with some of that beef stew and that gravy on top. And then my green beans on the side. And that was dinner for that night, y'all. Up next, we're gonna be making a ham, potato, and green bean crock pot dinner. So all you have to do is cut up some like pre-cooked ham and I'm using the Farmland brand, but of course there's several different brands that you could use. But I just diced it up and I actually should have diced it up into smaller pieces just because I didn't really like the big old ham chunks. So if you don't like big ham chunks, maybe you would like to cut yours up smaller as well. You will also, of course, need a can of green beans, and I'm just using the Great Value brand, and I did get the family size, but you could also use like a regular size um, can of green beans, and I'm also going to need some honey gold potatoes. It's just the little round potatoes, so of course, you could probably use whatever kind of potatoes you prefer, but those were really good in this dinner, so I highly recommend using those as well, and I did get everything from Walmart, just in case you were wondering. For my potatoes, I'm just cutting them in half and then I'm going to cut them in half again. You could leave them whole, but I just prefer them to be cut up like this. It just makes it for cooking easier and I just don't like a big old whole potato. Like I said, I didn't really like the big old ham chunks, but of course, if that's what you like, do yours that way. But like I said, next time I will definitely cut my ham chunks a little bit smaller. This 
This dinner is also a dump and go crock pot meal. So basically you just dump all your ingredients just like you did in the previous dinner. So all I did was dump in my ham chunks and now I'm dumping in my potatoes and next I'll dump in my can of green beans, pour in a little bit of chicken broth, pop the lid on it, cook it on low for five to six hours. When I come home, a dinner will be done. That's what I love about crock pot dinners. It's no hassle little to no mess and I don't know it's just a win-win especially when you're a working mom or your mom that just don't feel like cooking or don't stand in the kitchen all afternoon or you've got little ones and you're distracted I don't know you can never go wrong with a crock pot dinner that's for sure Like I said, I get really paranoid if I don't have enough liquid in there. So I did add a generous amount of my chicken broth in there. And then I'm just going to kind of easily try to mix up the ingredients just to kind of evenly incorporate everything around the crock pot so that it doesn't, you know, it's not like layered ham, potatoes, and green beans. I want to make sure that everything gets cooked thoroughly. So I'm just going to kind of easily stir it up into my crock pot. And like I said, pop the lid on it five to six hours dinner is served and I also I'm going to add some seasonings but you don't have to do this it would be good without it and you could also probably add one of those Italian seasoning packets I feel like that will be really good with this but I didn't have one so I'm just sprinkling in some random seasonings that I took out my cabinet but of course like I always say you can add whatever you like it's your kitchen So after my five to six hour cook time was up, this is what I had and it doesn't look really pleasing right now, but y'all promise y'all it was so good and I highly recommend y'all giving it a try. It was one of my new favorites actually. So here it is. Everything is cooked thoroughly. Like I said, I will definitely cook or cut the ham chunks a little bit smaller next time. As you can see, some of those things are really big and I just wasn't a big fan of that, but everything else was really delicious. Moving into the next dinner, we're gonna add some chicken legs to our crock pot and we're just gonna throw some buffalo sauce on them. You could also add barbecue sauce if you don't like hot or spicy. I'm also, of course, gonna season up my chicken just because I have to season everything. That's just who I am. So here are the seasonings I'm gonna be using. I'm using some garlic salt, some onion powder, and some chicken lick of bam bam. And if you're new here, and you've never heard of Chicka Lick of Bam Bam, I'll have a link in my description box so that you can go check it out. And I'm just going to use some of this Moore's Buffalo Sauce. I've never used it before. I randomly picked it up at the grocery store, so I'm just going to add that in there because that's what I had on hand. Also, you probably don't necessarily have to do this step. This is just me. I just use my spoon to mix around the chicken legs to make sure they all get good and coated with the buffalo sauce. I just like to have sauce on every bite. That's just me. And then of course, I went in with a little bit of water into the bottom of my crock pot. You could also use chicken broth, but I had done used up all of my chicken broth in the previous dinners. So I just used some good old water. I don't know if you necessarily have to add liquid in there because the chicken does cook up, you know, off its own juices or waters or whatever, but that's just me. I like to add that in there just to be on the safe side. And of course, I'm going to pop the lid on there, put it on low for five to six hours. Once I come home, this is what I had. As you can tell, there's a whole lot more liquid in there than what I added earlier because like I said, also the chicken does cook off its own juices, so you may not necessarily have to add much liquid in there, but that's just me just trying to be on the safe side. So once I come home and everything was done, I just removed the chicken legs from the crock pot, put it in a bowl, make sure it's a bowl with a lid. I added a little bit more buffalo sauce and shook it up just because I love to have a lot of sauce on my chicken, but if you're not one of those people, you don't necessarily have to do this step either. And of course, whenever I shook it up with a barbecue sauce, some of the chicken fell apart, but I did salvage one just to plate up so that I could show y'all what we was working with. But I hope you all enjoyed this week's Crocktober themed What's for Dinner. If you did, as always, please don't forget to leave me a thumbs up before you leave. And if you're new here, I hope you hit that subscribe button just so that you can keep on hanging out with us. Thank you all so much for being here today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye, y'all.